Right then, guys, this is the review of the APNX AP. One dash B. This is a brand new CPU cooler, and we've got some thermal testing as well as some noise testing. And what we will we'll go through what comes in the box, the also accessories, and the overall first look. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay, and so this is the AP One V. It is from APNX. If you don't know, this is actually quite a very new brand. And they've actually only got, they've got the CPU cooler, they've got cases and fans. This is the cooler. And look at that, just the just the outside box. Look at that, it looks really, really nice. Now, I haven't unboxed it yet because I'm going to share it with you guys. So, let's get to what it looks like. Okay, so we'll put that there. Now, lift this up. Ooh, see, nice user guide by here. Yeah, just tells you how to do the mounting bracket and and all that, so that's good. Okay, so we've got the accessories. Let's open the accessories first. So I'll put it in there. Okay, so here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, it's actually nice. It's quite laid out. This, oh, I oh, definitely like the bracket. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. This is the uh, Vexi or uh, Vertici mounting system that um, Noctua uses. So, take this off now. Ooh! Oh, wow! <laughs> Oh wow, look at the size of that, that is absolutely massive, look how thick that boy is, wow, now this has got an air of quality, it's aluminium, it's got gorgeous fan, gorgeous, the heat sink is huge, just look at the size, of it. it's basically like a dual tower heat sink but with one fan, and that looks absolutely gorgeous. There, there, mountain. It's got standard ARGB, it's a four pin PWM, and then it's got a daisy chain for the ARGB. So, let's get this installed now so we can have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so this is the AP1 at 50% fan speed. I have also turned off the fans in the case so you get more of an accurate thing, but of course this isn't a decibel meter, but you will still get a rough idea of how it sounds. So that's 50%. And this is 100%. Okay then, so for thermal testing, it's all the normal testing I do with the tests I do with Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test. Now of course, the CPU I'm using is a 5900X AMD CPU and I've done two different types of tests like I do in my reviews. One out of the box with zero 
settings touched in the BIOS and then the second auto testing then is with PBO enabled and some of the settings unlocked. So out of the box settings for Cinebench R23 the idles with 31 Celsius with a max of 67. Blender Classroom the idles with 31 with a max of 66 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles with 31 with a max of 65 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 31 Celsius with a max of 67 Celsius. Right, so 5900X with PBO enabled, XMP, and some of the settings unlocked. So for Cinebench R23, the idles with 31 Celsius with a max of 81 Celsius. The Blender Classroom, the idles with 31 Celsius with a max of 79 Celsius. Blender BMW, the idles with 31 with a max of 79 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 31 Celsius with a max of 70 Celsius. Right, so you've heard the thermals, you've also seen the graphs, you've heard how loud it is. Yes, 100% it is loud, but a lot of uh, budget here. Air coolers are rather loud. Thermal right, that for one. A lot of their AIOs and coolers are very loud, but then again, they're in that budget category. Now, of course, this is £30 on overclockers.co.uk. And what I will say, for £30, it's actually a very good value. You get the aesthetics of something that's more premium. You get the fantastic ARGB, which if you're a fan of the channel, you know, I love my RGB. You get the very simple Vasecki mounting system that Deep Cool uses. It's exactly the same mounting they use, which is very easy to install for AMD and Intel. Also, the cables, they aren't very long. It's four pin PWM. It is three pin uh, ARGB. And the performance is there. It ran the 5900X with PBO with no problems. Now remember that the testing I do will never represent what temps you will get during gameplay. So just put that into account because the testing I do is to hit the CPU coolers and the AIOs that I get as hard as I can. Sometimes in my head-to-head -head series, I push them to the red line. Now, reviews, I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, no one's going to be running it at those stupid voltages and wattage when it comes to something that's only 30 quid. So, I ran it with PBO, let it run what it wanted, and it performed it very well. It's a good cooler. I will make sure to leave a link down below. I'd like to say a big thank you to apnx for sending out products for me to have a look at now i have got three other four other products i've got three of their very very premium argb fans and they're very nice very premium looking case so that will be coming next week so make sure you subscribe for that i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and a week ahead and this is richard from welsh tech i will see you next week good bye